I've had a weird Windows issue recently that manifests itself in that I cannot really upload JPEG images without going through some hoops. Let me show you this. Any web interface from any web browser brings up this. All supported file types appear to be JPEG and something called JFIF, but JFIF is a file extension that's now associated with the image type JPEG. What's going on? I mean, I can just go and select all files and then all my JPEG images will show up here, but that's just more mouse clicks than I want. And what is this weird file type association? Let's have a look. Well, JFIF, as it turns out, is in fact the JPEG file interchange format, and it somehow overcomes limitations of something called the JPEG file type, and it's called JFIF, and I don't know what servers on my Windows system is continuously changing it. Since I've had this problem with Firefox, I've asked a question in the support forum, and a very nice user called Corel did actually have the solution, so thank you so much for that. Uh, since this has happened to me again, I thought I'm going to fix this while I'm making a little video about it and show you how it works. So it turns out that the JPEG file type that is usually associated with the JPEG extension has been corrupt somehow by some service and it's been changed on my Windows system. So what we need to do is go into this super scary thing called the registry editor. So head over to that search function in Windows and open up the registry editor. Confirm it because we have to start this as an administrator. And in here we get this super long, scary list of things. Let me close mine down because this is likely what yours will look like. We get these five default directories here. And the first one is the one that we're interested in. It's the H key classes root. When you open that with that little triangle here, it brings up a lot of what appears to be file extensions. This is not what we're interested in. We're gonna scroll all the way further until we find another folder called MIME. I don't know if there's a way to search for this. There probably is, I just don't know what it is. MIME is the folder we want to open. And when you open that, it comes up with yet another closed directory, which is called database. That's what we need to open. In database, we find something called content type. And in content type, we now finally find the file types that are listed on our system and what file extensions are associated with it. So for example, under application slash PDF, we do actually see that this file type is associated with the extension .pdf the way it should be. Now if we scroll further down, past audio we'll find image and under image we find something called image forward slash jpeg and you'd imagine this should be associated with the file type of dot jpeg but in my registry it appears that that's not the case so somebody is associated with dot jfif that's where all the problems stem from so double click extension not the actual extension but the word extension and when we do that this little modal dialog comes up and we can associate the value name with the value data. In my case, instead of JFIF, I want that to be JPG, as in JPEG. Now make sure you type the right thing in here because there's no undo in the registry editor. It's a very scary tool. We click OK and that's really it. Now my extension is associated with the correct file extension and that should mean that if I go back to my web interface and I try the upload button, now I should in fact see all my JPEGs and all the supported file types are now JPEG and PNG. That's what I like. I hope this video helped you figure out the same issue. I still don't know which service has re-associated JPEG with JFIF, but hey, should this happen again, now you know how to fix it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Take care. Mm-hmm.